Right, since releasing my video on Leek Church recently and the preaching crosses, I found three more interesting sites around Leek. So I thought I'd do a quick one. And it's this plague stone just outside the Birchall playing fields on Cheddleton Road in Leek. And it's a fragment of yet another cross shaft, possibly 14th century this one. And it's stone with a fluted shaft about four foot high. Maybe this is its original sighting, but I'm not too sure. They're usually on the edges of towns or just outside. So this plague stone as it's called, and it was used as, is a typical medieval cross that must have been broken at some point as they're normally much taller. And this particular one in Leek was used by people during the Black Death in medieval times. And they would leave food here for the dying and the infected so that they did not have to come into contact with them. Uh, there was a plaque on a modern base in front of it, but I think that's now gone. But these uh, plague stones are quite interesting. I'm going to look into them a bit more. Now this one, it's a collection point for the water of a nearby spring. And it may be associated with an early shrine. It's called the Lady's Well, or the Lady of the Dale Well, and Weaver's Well got a few names but it's recorded as Lady Welldale in the late 16th century 1587 I think it was recorded and there was a farm belonging to the out local abbey along the Chelston Road now above the well it has the date 1855 and some unclear initials in like gothic writing and that'd be when the stonework was put round it I guess its structure is sort of rustic it's about two meter high with a slightly recessed notch below an original water spout collecting water from the spring through which water still flows actually and the spout is made of a worn circular structure which may have been a carved head and its waters were used for healing by local people and local folklore maintains that there was a statue of the virgin mary and I would imagine this replaced uh, worship of a pre-Christian goddess or spirit of the well. And even today it is visited by individuals and groups where they perform rites and make offerings to its healing waters. Now, this may be a coincidence, but possibly not. The footpath which leads to Lady Dale Well can also be found to lead to the Egg Well in Bradnop. Now, Eggwell, or Ashenurst well it's sometimes called, is said to have considerable medicinal properties. And that one is uh, Roman in origin. I didn't realise how much ancient history Leek has until I stopped for that coffee.